started his career rapping in defiance about police presence uh, and the realities of inner city life. And he got political with his songs as well recently during the Trump administration, most recently in 2018. Here's a taste. Arrest the president. You got the evidence. That is Russian intelligence. Now we see a shift. Now he wants to work with President Trump. Here's what the president had to say most recently about Black Lives Matter. The first time. You know what? You know what they're doing, right? Because he, he's about to get on the show. And since Ice Cube has his different point of views, I guess, and politically, what they're trying to do now is they're trying to make him fall into contradiction. See what I'm saying? All right, let me just go ahead and uh, rewind this back. I know what Cuomo's trying to do. He's trying to set him up for failure. <laughs> He think he's slick, but let's keep on playing, bitch ass. He got political with his songs as well recently during the Trump administration, most recently in 2018. Here's a taste. Uh. Arrest the president. You got the evidence. That is Russian intelligence. Now we see a shift. Now he wants to work with President Trump. Here's what the president had to say most recently about Black Lives Matter. The first time I ever heard of Black Lives Matter, I said, that's such a terrible term because it's such a racist term. It's a term that sows division between blacks and whites and everybody else. And it's a very bad term for blacks. But they're, they were very angry. It's a Marxist organization. With all that going on and how the president continues to speak about there being no systemic inequality it's no shock now some people can agree with me and disagree with me and that's totally fine you know because when i get into politics i'm just really neutral on things but here's here's my perspective of it all right see my thing is uh, when he says black lives matter the president trump this is what i'm getting right he says he doesn't like that term because it sounds like you're separating yourself from the rest of the americans or rest of america it does but in a way i can understand how blacks feel because i'm black myself but you gotta take into consideration man we saying Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, right? Other people are gonna be like, "Well, what the hell? Like our lives don't matter either." Just think about it. Everybody's life matters. It does. But is there a mistreatment in the system when it comes down to African Americans and law enforcement? Of course there is. Of course. Um. This is my opinion. Like I said, you don't have to agree with me or not. Oh, that's fine. But I'm going to say it like this, right? I'm going to say that the law enforcement, police, police academy, whatever, I just think that cops need to be retrained in certain situations, man. And I also think that citizens also have to be trained, too, in what to do in situations when they get pulled over, you know. Now, I, listen, I've been racially profiled all my life. Oh, shit, I was racially profiled in Florida, like, maybe, like, a couple weeks ago when I was driving up to Tallahassee. Was it, was it Tallahassee? Yeah, I had to do a work. I had to do some work up there, so. Um, and I got pulled over, so, yeah, I know, I know how it is. And uh, it sucks to be, uh, it sucks to be, um racially profile but it's just something that it's been a stigma in a lot of black men's lives you know when it comes down to being racially profiled and uh it's just it's sad it's a sad situation that most men black men like myself have to go through this shit but it's just it, it's just something that it kind of grows on you you kind of get used to it now but what i do to try to avoid cops from pulling me over is 
like tint my car so they don't know who I am in there and uh, you know try to keep a low profile you know sad to say this but I mean it is what it is but regarding to this whole uh, ice cube situation man because we told my ice cube then we're gonna get to 50 cents in a minute but uh <laughs> wow uh, I just I just don't think Trump meant what the mainstream media and plus CNN would would kind of put it out as blacks and whites and everybody else and it's a very bad term it is, it is I mean black lives matter is kind of a bad term I mean yeah our lives do matter it should be important but also Trump has to wake up and realize too that you know like I understand what you mean but at the same time you know you can't ignore the fact that there's a problem between law enforcement and and uh, the black community because it's something needs to be something needs to change, man. Something needs to change. I mean, th this is why these artists are trying to reach out to the president. Listen, they tried to work with Democrats. Democrats ain't trying to hear what they got to say. Democrats don't want to listen. And we're not even saying Republicans will listen either, man. I'm just saying, but based on my opinion, like I said, I've always been an independent voter. Um, I swing more towards Trump policies, definitely. Um, it makes better sense out of the two candidates. That's my opinion. But all really and truly, just based on my freedom of speech as American to speak, that I say fuck politics. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? But I can understand how to flip it of coin can easily happen but let's let's keep playing this man i want y'all to listen to this shit very bad term for blacks but they they were very angry it's a marxist organization with all that going on and how the president continues to speak about there being no systemic inequality it's no shock that ice cube got some heat for deciding uh to work with the trump administration he wants to deal with it. I want to understand it. So, so should you. So here is Ice Cube on prime time. Thank you for taking the opportunity, brother. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, uh, Chris. Uh, your lead-ins are a little misleading. How so? Um, well, the platinum plan is not my plan. I came up with the contract with Black America, um, and I didn't run to go work with any campaign. Both campaigns contacted me. Both campaigns wanted to talk to me about the contract with Black America. One campaign said, we love what you have, but let's really dig into it after the election. And one campaign said, we love what you have. Uh, what, do you mind talking to us about it? And that's what I did. Oh, I wonder what those campaigns could be, because see, Ice Cube is saying one political party campaign was able to schedule a date and sit down and talk to me because Ice Cube just wants to talk about black issues and address them in the community to see which party is going to be more beneficiary to us as blacks. You know, you can't hate the brother for saying that because, hey, I want to know too. So guess what? He says one candidacy, one party was able to schedule a date. I want y'all to listen now. One party was able to schedule a date. The other party says, eh, we'll wait till after the election and we'll talk about it. How many times, man, black people, we got to be real. We got to be totally real. How many times does the Democratic Party always tells us we'll talk to you guys later we'll, 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 we'll get to it soon we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can do what i'm not gonna get you know since we're all talking about politics here so we, we go get into politics but i'm not gonna get too much in the past of it with, with the hell the clintons and shit because if you do your research right Say people do your research. Do your research, please. I challenge it. I challenge all black people to do your research, man. The Clintons 
we're funding funds, right? Funding funds. Now, those funds were supposed to be aid reliefs, you know, aid, uh, aid relief for the hurricane relief during the Obama administration. Those aid reliefs were supposed to go to Haiti and Africa, and not one of those supplies of money funded those countries. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to fund other islands, I, I think, or some shit like that. I don't know. I'm not too, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not too, too into the whole politician thing. I only know from certain things that I've read. So with this truth in hand, it made me kind of think to myself, like, damn, this is why the whole email scandal bullshit is going on. You know, but anyways, man, I... I I can care less about cleanse. I can care less about all this other bullshit. I just want to know what's going to be in it for us as people, man. That's all I care about. So I didn't run to nobody. And uh, so that was real misleading to me. Um, well, I didn't say you ran you know, to anybody. I said that you had taken a pivot. Well, you, you, you said I ran over to the Trump team instead of the Biden team. That's just not true. Uh, well, but you are working with me. the Trump team instead I'm, of the Biden team and people are giving you heat for it. What do you say to them? <laughs> well, I'm willing to work with both teams, but I'm just working with whoever is willing to work with me. So, you see, listen, this guy right here, what's his name? Cuomo, I think his name is. Some shit like that. The governor of New York. I don't live in New York anymore. So forgive me. But this guy right here, man. <laughs> this guy right here really fucked up New York, man. I'm be real with you, bro. He really did. And now, why do you think a lot of New Yorkers are trying to get the fuck out of New York and they're coming down here to Florida, man? Shit crazy. Say, say, whatever, man. Some people could agree with me. Some people could disagree with me. That's fine. But you notice that the people on the, on the, on the left over here, they always try to twist shit up. And always trying to make it seem like, oh, this is what you said. Uh, well, you are going over that side, huh? Ice Cube never said that, though. He never said that. He said he wants to work with both. So he, he is going to work with them. The Obama, the Obama. I mean, I said the Obama. Good God. He is going to work with the Trump administration. Not work for them. But work with them. So that way. You know. They can see whatever policies could be pushed out. Look, listen, man. Democrats, man. Y'all got, got a lot to learn, man. We ain't just going to vote for y'all. Just because we go going to vote for y'all, man. We've been doing it for the past, what, eight 12, 24, 38, God damn, who knows how many years we've been all been duped to just vote Democrat, vote Democrat, vote Democrat. Come on, man. I don't want to feel like I, I got to be voted to just be one political party, man. I mean, hey. Trump did do the, uh. Was it the HSBCU or the HSBC or some shit like that? To the black college funds? Forgive me if I, if I miss, messed up on it. Um, but that's what I heard. I mean, he's done stuff like that. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I, I Honestly, the way I feel, man, honestly, I don't think it makes you less black if you decide to vote Republican. Or it makes you more black if you decide to vote Democrat. Why? That's your political beliefs. Shit, we're going to get to 50 cents on how he don't want to become 20 cents. <laughs> Motherfucker said, I'm voting for Trump, bitches. Let's keep playing. The Trump campaign came to me and asked me to explain to them some of the uh, contract with black America. That's what I did. I'm not playing no more of these games, Woo! these political games. We're not part of a team. We have very broad problems, especially the wealth gap in this country when it comes to black Americans. So I'm going to whoever's in. So there you go. There's your answer. Which political team said, OK, we'll set up a meeting. No problem. We'll go ahead and do lunch. Mr. Cube, no problem. Which political team do you know? set up the meeting to speak with Ice Cube and which other political teams is not right now wait till after the election now I don't even have to answer that 
But the proof is in the pudding right there, folks. Let's keep playing. In power, and I'm going to speak to them about our problems specifically. I'm not going there talking about minorities. I'm not going there talking about people of color or diversity or none of that stuff. I'm going there for black Americans, the ones who are the descendants of slaves. And that's what I'm going to talk to anybody who's in power with that. There you go. He's not talking about other minorities. He's not going up this. Why? Why should we? Who gives a fuck? Why the fuck do we care about talking about other minorities when we can't relate to that shit? He's going over there to speak about black America, man. Black America. Because you notice that black America keeps getting pushed out and shit. Keep getting pushed out and shit. Shit ain't right, man. <laughs> Let's keep playing. So if anybody got a problem with that, it seems like a personal problem. Well, here's the problem, and it is very personable, personal, as you know, for a lot of people of color, because they'll say, well, why would you pick Trump when he says there's no such I'm thing as systemic nobody. inequality? He's not picking, so he's not anybody. picking nobody. He's the president. But why he's do you think president. he'd want to do something for the community when he says there's no such thing as systemic inequality? I don't know what he want to do. I just know what the man said. I know what he said to the country. Yeah. Uh, I've never met Donald Trump. Um, Listen. I try to tell people this, man. It's like this. If somebody tells you something bad about somebody and you don't know that person, oh, that person, oh, he's mean. He's horrible. He's disgusting. Oh, I don't like him. You be like, oh, for real? Like, yeah, don't be around him, right? But the next minute, that person's being kind of nice to you and shit. You ever been in situations like that? Even on a workplace where a person will say, don't talk to that person. That person's mean. Like, what the fuck? I just told him yesterday. He's cool. You know what I'm saying? And they always cool. See, you got to watch out for people like that in your lives, people. People say that to try to influence you and to use mind manipulation. You know? You know, I talked about tell a vision. How tell a vision tells you a vision of what I want you to know. I can tell you a vision of what I think you should vision us. You know what I'm saying? It's like a mind manipulation, visual fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But these people have been doing it to us for the longest time, man. And I'm not saying, hey, Republicans are the best. Republicans are for everybody. I'm not saying that because to be honest with you, I don't trust none of them motherfuckers. But I'll tell you this, though. I'd rather have the Republicans and give them a chance than the goddamn Democrats. Because we, hey, black people, we trust them too many times. We voted for them so many times. They ain't do shit. And they showed their true colors. Biden out here being racist and shit. With them slick ass words. Come on man. Take your red pill man. Take that red pill man. <sighs> and I. Uh, so I don't know. What he's going to do. I just know what he said he was going to do. So mm. both of them have a plan. Both of them say. They're going to do something. Um, and who knows what's really going to happen uh, after November 3rd. Nobody knows from each side. We're all hoping that candidates keep their campaign promises. So that's just it. So let's look at it this way. I think that you're right to be skeptical. Let's start with the Democrats, because even though there is a traditional connection between uh, black voters and the Democrats, you could also say you've been let down or forgotten uh, by Democrats in a lot of situations that would have mattered. Uh, then you say, all right, so then I'll, what's one side, what makes one side better than the other? That's where you get in trouble, uh, which is, do you really think that Donald Trump can be trusted as much as you could trust Joe Biden? Uh, I don't even know if I could trust you. <laughs> Y'all all Democrats Democrat hacks Don't trust these people What makes you think you can trust them What makes you think I can trust you Look Let me stop <laughs> uh, I don't think I, I, I'm not trusting any of them Exactly I'm going by action Exactly That's all I'm going by I'm not going by words Facts I'm not going by rhetoric Rhetoric Not going by media spin Not Facts. going by none of that You know I'm not uh, I'm not on nobody's team. Facts. I'm not on team blue, not on team red. So then I have the that wrong. Person, 
Hold so, on, I'm an independent person, and I believe that's what black people need to do is become independent. Yes. And we need to get something for Do you know that independent is the best? Listen, man, I'm an independent contractor, okay? You can even work independently. This is what's so great about America, okay? You know the greatest thing about America is that you have the right to choose what the fuck you want to do, man. You got to love this country sometimes, man. You can hate it. You can love it. But at the same time, you still have the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. You can choose to be independent. You can choose to be Democrat. You can choose to be a Republican. I choose to be independent. I want to think for myself. So I say fuck Democrats. Hey, Republicans, go ahead and take the wheel, baby. Because they a little bit favor more on the independent side, man. I just don't like to be controlled. And I think a lot of people, a lot of black people are starting to feel this way, man. It's a, it's it's just the energy, bro. Like we tired of being controlled. Celebrities are starting to see that they're trying they're tired of being controlled. Celebrities are breaking through like the good ones that don't want to be in Hollywood and Hollywood. They're breaking free from the masses, man. Don't you know the masses is controlled by Democrats, Hollywood? Babe, I mean, that's cool. Some of y'all still, I know. It, 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 it's just, it hurts when you talk bad about Democrats, man. I know I used to feel that way too, because I feel like I had to be a solidarity to somebody. But if you really do your research and really look into it, Republicans wanted to free us from slavery, man. Democrats wanted to keep us in there. And I'm not saying, hey, Republicans are the best people in the world. I don't really trust politics at all. I'm just saying, hey, let's just see what Republicans can do. Because they're doing good so far. And they're saying the right words. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm just saying. But like Ice Cube, I'm with Ice Cube on this, man. I'm independent. So I know y'all see my little mustache and shit growing but listen i'm more independent so i just go i just follow where my heart is man and what i think is best for america that's it at the time right now i, I kind of like republicans uh policies man that's just me you don't have to agree do you agree or disagree but i care about this country man i like the fact that you can have the freedom Second, Second Amendment rights, man. Exercising your Second Amendment rights. Gun control. Now, heavenly, Democrats want to control gun control. Okay? If you're a concealed gun owner, you know what I'm saying? Then you, you know that these people are trying to take your guns away. I don't want my gun taken away. I want to be... Hold on, let me fix this. My bad. I want to be able to have the right to bear arm, but, you know, the left are trying to take those rights away from you. And also, this motherfucker Joe Biden wants to ban marijuana, man. Come on, Joe. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Man, you can't get rid of the weed, man. Come on, man. Joe... Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe Biden wants to get rid of marijuana, man. How can you do that, man? Not, not Mary Jane. Mm-mm. That man want to ban that shit too. And didn't Harris, that chick Harris, what's her name? Didn't she incarcerate black men? See, black people you gotta do your research on these people, man. Y'all can't just vote for them just to vote for them. Well, who, who, who says, who says so? You could do whatever the hell you want to do. You don't even have to listen to me. This is what being independent is all about. Hey, I ain't forcing you to listen to me. You can listen to me if you want to. But hey, just use your mind, man. We supposed to be free. We supposed to be American. America is supposed to be the home of the free, man. We're supposed to love this country. It's supposed to be the most beautiful country in the world, man. Men are supposed to be men, leaders, man. 
We need restored power as men to be leaders of this country. Right now we're collapsed, man. God damn it, all lines, fans all line is taking over our wages, man. <laughs> Anyways, let me keep on playing, man. I'll just fuck with y'all. For our vote. You know, that may not happen, but it's, it's going to happen. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. Uh, nothing changes if nothing changes. I, I, look, if I had brought you here to fight with you, you, you would have known it. What I'm saying is, ah. I think I did get it wrong, and I want to make sure I get it right. Oh, Ice Cube so wasn't feeling that. You're working. See, Ice Cube is a very smart dude. And he can tell when somebody's trying to fuck with his intelligence, man. Right now, Cuomo is trying to fuck with this man's intelligence. He think he's stupid because he's black. You see, a lot of these Democrats felt this way for the longest time about blacks. They've always felt that they can get their way with black people, talk down to them. Without, you know, using the slick, slick words. Hey, you want that Section 8, don't you? We'll give you Section 8. We'll give you free housing. Come on, man. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want nothing given to me, man. I want to be able to go out there and earn it. I want my four acres... Or eight acres and four mules and shit. I want to be able to have my own. I don't want to have the government to depend on. I got to depend on the government to get me things, man. Fuck all that shit. And the fact that men and women are married through the government, man, that's bullshit. One time we didn't have to go through marriage through government, man. That's crazy. It's like the government controls your balls. You can't do nothing, man. This is not free, man with the Trump team is wrong. What you did was, when they asked to talk to you about it, you said yes. If Biden had asked to talk to you about it now, you would have gone to them the same way. It's not about you choosing anything, it's you working with everybody who's got a chance of doing anything. What? So I'm right? working with whoever's in power. Yeah, I'll work with both. Whoever's in power, I'm gonna work with. So whoever win, they'll, they'll uh, hear from me. Okay, so you know, I'm frequently. glad you came to clear it up. So Ice Cube is not with the Trump campaign. He's just given his ideas and anybody who wants to do something with him, fine. Do you believe they are doing anything with your ideas? Uh, I believe, you know, they, they looked at the contract with Black America and they updated their um, plan. But it's their plan. You know, I have my plan. My plan is broad. It goes. I think Ice Cube's got a plan in hand and he's, he's see, he's frustrated like a motherfucker, man. He just want to have it. Hey, Ice Cube is for us, and he's not going anywhere. He's he's for us, guys. Ice Cube saying, man, listen, man. I ain't for no Democrats. I ain't even really for no Republicans. But if you push me long enough, I might just wear that red hat just to piss your ass off. Look at this dude, man. Look at the God damn it, man. He don't want to hear anything this dude has to say, man. You can tell, like, listen, man. Blacks, man. These Democrats don't give a fuck about y'all, man. We just got to wake up and just realize, man, and get out of this fantasy world. These motherfuckers don't care about us. And who the fuck knows if the Republicans give a fuck about us, too. But at least we're giving a chance, man. Let's give the other side a chance to see what they can do because the Democrats ain't done shit. I mean, we've had them in power for the longest time, man. Clintons, Obamas, we vote them in there all the time. What have they done? I'm just saying, y'all can get mad. But Chicago still fucked up. Get mad at that. Oh, but we got a governor who's Democrat up there. And she can't get it together. Trump says, I'm going to send in the National Guards. I was like, what? Nigga, send no motherfuckers over there. I'm tired of innocent black people getting killed, man. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of innocent black people getting shot up in Chicago, man. I'm tired of black people. I, it's, it, it hurts me seeing my own people, man, walking down the street and they can't. They 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 gotta be in fear. And they're good people. They ain't fucking doing shit to nobody. But they gotta worry about somebody coming up in a in a shooting, fucking uh, gun exchange. Next minute, somebody ends up getting killed. Come on, man. That shit is crazy, bro. Goes beyond the, the public sector. It goes into the private sector. Um, banks, um, yeah, you know, even uh, the movie industry. So we got to deal with a lot of different, um, I think, uh, companies, corporations, and even government 
when it comes to solving this problem. I believe it's a it's a non uh, bipartisan problem. Uh, I believe it's a bipartisan problem when it comes to the issues when it comes to uh, blacks in America and what's going on. It's not a Democrat problem. It's not for them to solve. It's not for the Republicans to solve. It's for both of them to solve. Um, they do it when it comes to debt ceiling. They do it when it comes to getting us in wars. Yeah. They seem to come together when it's something that really affects America. That's right. That's right. Absolutely right. I'm so for Ice Cube right now. America does get everything back together when it comes down to America. When they need us as help, we always have to get together and help out America as best as we can. Right? We got to go to war. We do that. And what does the black community get in return? That's why we tied. We want to get something about reparation, man. Do you believe, folks, that are watching right now, do you believe that blacks should get reparation from slavery? Now, rather you Republican or Democrat, whatever you, whatever you want to vote for, that's fine. But do you think black blacks should get reparation? Just like uh, Native Americans. They've gotten what? Uh, I don't know. I heard they don't pay taxes or some shit. But some people say they still pay taxes. But I don't think they. I don't think they pay for taxes on like land taxes or some shit. At least that's what I was told. I could be wrong. And I don't think nothing affects America more than the situation that Black Americans find ourselves in. This country is coming apart at the seams, and it's not going to come together yeah. after January third. No matter who's the president, yeah. unless we deal with this wealth gap. You have the economics. Uh, all of it extends uh, from poverty, which is an extension of opportunity, uh, which is an extension of a system that doesn't give equal opportunity, and you see it everywhere. Hiring, education, finance, uh, all of it. So acutely, we've been looking at uh, what happens when policing goes wrong in communities. It doesn't give you concern that the president has handled police violence the way he has in terms of his commitment to work on any of the issues that you think are important? We've been dealing with police violence in this country from day one. So police violence is just part of our life here. So, you know, the thing is this, once we get some capital, we'll be treated better. Right. This is a capitalistic society. True. Right. Absolutely, positively correct. Once you get some capital, some sort of bank system, that's why blacks need to start own. They need to have their own community. That's the only way we're going to survive. And hey, white people are more than welcome to come in our community and spend money in our community. We want to welcome white people. With all, of course, we want whites. We want Hispanics. We want Asians and shit. This is America, man. You guys should be able to freely come in our community and spend money, man. Why not? Fix it up. We need some sort of ground capital. But see, this is what they were. This is what these people hate, man. These people on the left hate. They don't want you to be educated. They don't want you to be educated. Okay. And they, even though I'm not crazy over the right, I'm with Ice Cube on this one. He speaks just like I do, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm such an independent person, bro. Same way. I don't trust nobody. But I tell you this, I'm sure as hell don't trust the Democrats. No, 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 no. And if you ain't got no money, you see how people get treated on the streets. Cuomo don't give a shit, though. Not just money, wealth. Wealth, you got to be able to build up wealth within the community. Yeah, you know, to put it in greater terms. But, you know, at the bottom line is... You know, uh, dollars bring dignity. And so uh, everybody in America knows that. When you got a little more money, they treat you a little better. So right, we need right. to close this wealth gap. Um, you know, you got people, you know, making a families making $120,000 or worth $120,000. And you got black families worth $200. That this is just it's a. Uh, it's just an enormous wealth gap that keeps growing. It's not getting smaller. Uh, do the, you know, do the research, and you'll see. This is the problem in America. Um, it's because black people have no capital. We own half of a point 
when it comes to all the wealth in America. Half of a point, 13.5% people living off half of a point. We cannot survive in America another 100 years living like this. The issue is real. The pro Very true. And what has Democrats really promised us for the most part? Section 8 homes, pissy elevators, food stamps. I mean, child support, killing, like, just robbing each other financially from each other. You know what I'm saying? They said the average black person has $5 in his savings account, man. That's not good. That's not good. I want us to be empowered. I want us to be wealthy. You know what really made me, uh, made me smile the other days when I saw black men started to talk about the stock market. They started to talk about investing, man. Like, I, I want to survive, bro. I said, yeah, me too. I want to have to. I don't want to. I don't want to have to retire at 65, man. Talk to my homie about this shit. Man. I was like, yeah. I don't want to retire either. Like, why do you have to enjoy life when you're old? Just think about it. Why do we have to wait till we retire to where we're waiting at home for the small little government check to come in what was it like the most you get is a thousand dollars a month when you got to be reduced to live in a low see this country wants you to be not empowered man they don't want you to be empowered it's like what you make a thousand dollars a month you think i'm gonna live in this country fuck that i could live like a king in a different country i just moved to a different country i love america but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I can't survive because of who I am. That's why recreation should be highly recommended. Blacks need recreation. Recreation. But how do you just give blacks a bunch of money? I don't think that's it. We need capital. We don't want money. We saw what we did with money. We get it. We spend it. We don't want the milk, motherfucker. We want the cow. We want to produce the milk. I mean, just look at it, right? Ice Cube is absolutely right. Black communities. What do I see? I see salon shops. I see barber shops. I see Chinese restaurants, right? And majority of them are not black owned. And I see 7-Elevens on every corner of the stores, of the, of, the, of, the, of the corner blocks. And I don't see no black people working in there, but they're in black communities. So what, what are we doing? Where are we getting our money from? Guess what we do with our money? Just like he said, he doesn't care about other minorities. We're talking about black Americans. Black Americans, black American men who are systematically oppressed by a system that has failed us to where we don't have any type of family infrastructure. Because look what's happening right now. The divorce rate is high. Baby mama's all over the place. I know it sounds funny, but it's the truth. Problem is properly identified. They do have access, of capital, access to capital of about $500 billion, but it doesn't say that it would be earmarked within the Trump plan for communities of color. Uh, but we'll see what you can get done, and I'll make you this promise. I'm not just because I'm a fan, but the issue matters. As you learn and as you see action and reaction... These Democrats always want to say, oh, I'm going to tell you the truth, even though I am a fan. Name, ask him, name one Ice Cube song. Because what was her name? Uh, fucking, uh, what was it? Candace? Well, not Candace. Um, Harris. When they asked her about Tupac, <laughs> what'd she say? Oh, what's somebody asked her what her favorite rapper is? Who's the most favorite? What's her favorite rapper alive or something like that? And she says, I like Tupac. I don't know. It was some ridiculous question. Quote me if I'm wrong. I, I can't remember, but I don't know. It was some dumb shit. But anyways, everybody knows that Tupac has been dead for like how many years? I guess she didn't know. So, you know, I thought that was funny or inaction, you have a place on this show to discuss it. That's a guarantee. 
I appreciate it, Chris. Yeah, I'll be back to discuss and let you know what I know, what I find out. But I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give it to you straight up. It's mm. the only way I take aside. it. It doesn't go well any other way on this show. Oh, wow. Ice Cube, I wish right. you the best. Stay healthy. Be well. All right, man. Take it easy. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back. See, Ice Cube handled that shit like a G, man. Ice Cube handled that shit like a G. You know what it is, man? That guy was all bullshit. Ice Cube read through him, man. Let me see the comments over here. This is all CNN. Look at this, man. They brought him him to respond to the backlash. And but not clearly to... I'm into you if I've matched with... Okay, so see the comments over here. I love the comments. I like reading the comments. They brought him on to respond to the backlash and not actually, actually talk to the man about his ideas. That's very true. He should have started off with, I'm not your brother. Yeah. See, everybody's like all for Ice Cube on this one, man. I'm so, I stayed up with Ice Cube on this one. It just shows you right there. They don't care, bro. These Democrats don't care. And a lot of people are starting to open up their eyes and see that. These motherfuckers, they, they're, they're all Satanistic, man. All full, full of Hollywood agenda, sick agenda. This is what they do. I'm on Team Cube. Think for yourself. Actions matter. Anyone can talk. It's very true. This guy said, see, see, the people ain't stupid, man. See, these people think that the American people are really stupid. They really think your intelligence is real stupid, man. He hasn't endorsed Trump. Just, just, he's just working for change. Leave him alone. Yeah, people even saying that shit. He's not even working for Trump. Shit, hell, I don't even work for Trump. But right now, just because of the way the Democrats are acting, why why do you think a lot of blacks are voting for Trump now? Because this, this is propaganda, man. This shit is bullshit. Want to take away weed. This motherfucker Joe Biden want to take away weed. <laughs> you motherfucker, you. Man, I don't know who the hell is controlling that puppet, man. Want to take away weed. Now, I will get to 50 cents in a minute, though. Shout out to 50. Shout out to... uh. Uh, Ice Cube 2 in the building Shout out to even CNN man Motherfuckers I know y'all probably want to take my shit down A black man dares to think for himself And CNN has a problem with it I never would have seen that coming Look at that shit The moment you start Cuomo So you on, you on Team Trump Ice I'm on nobody's side I'm willing to work with whoever to get actual results. Cuomo era 404. <laughs> you know. That man Cuomo didn't like that shit. Why they don't like us wanting to work with Republicans man. Come on man. This shit don't make no sense man. See Ice Cube's woken up man. Well I think he's been woken up man. Man. Listen man. A, a, a lot of blacks are not are not dumb, man. A lot of them are very much intelligent, bro. Very much intelligent, man. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can get Fifty Cent's joint up here, man. Fifty Cent. Cause Fifty Cent wrote something that was pretty uh amazing. Hey, yo, man. Those of y'all who haven't. You know, follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that. If y'all haven't followed me. Now, follow me on IG. My IG name, Bronx. Let me see if I can go back. Give me my IG. It's my IG right there. And go ahead and follow me on Bronx. Blah, 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 blah. Was it Bronx Kid 420 underscore L underscore Cognac? There we go. All right. So I'm going to play this 50 cent joint. Let's see what fit. <laughs> this shit is funny Yo he was going in This man This man was serious about this shit 50 cents was not playing Okay So 50 cents says what the fuck Vote for Trump I'm out <laughs> He got the guy MOG With the smoke coming out of his ass Fuck New York the Knicks never win Anyways <laughs> Yo, I'm a I'm a diehard New York fan. I'm a diehard Knicks fan because I'm from New York, and um, it's sad, but yeah, he he's got a point there, man. The Knicks don't win shit. I don't care. Trump doesn't like black people. Sixty two percent. Are you out of y'all fucking mind? 
<laughs> okay, so let's read this now. Top tax rates by state under Biden's tax plan. California, 62.6%. Are you fucking crazy of taxes? This nigga said New Jersey's got to pay 60%. New York State 58%, New York City 62%. Do you know how much that is? Good God, thank God I got a Republican state. I got a Republican governor, so I'm good. But uh, I'm just talking about what taxes wise, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to save money. But man, imagine if you had a business. Just think about it, man. If the businesses are, are, are paying for all these taxes, bro. The businesses are paying for all these taxes, man. It's going to be hard because I know that some of y'all got businesses out there. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And some of y'all do live in the tri-state area in New York City or New Jersey or even California. The taxes is no joke. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Tamley Lauren, she said, welcome to the Trump train. <laughs> Yo, this is one hot little chick, man, Tammy. Tammy Lauren, oh man, let me tell you something, man, this is one little hot little white girl, man, I'm telling you, man, this is the hottest white uh, redneck chick that I would definitely smash, I would definitely make her great again, anyways, let's go back, a little pretty ass, <laughs> he said, welcome to the Trump <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. He says, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> Yo! Come on, man. This is just crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is great. I've been trying to talk like 50 This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is Trump guy. Uh, but I got to be paid with all these taxes, man. This shit's not first, man. I got to pray, man. I got to make sure to tell me the next, man. I ain't trying to pay that money. I know I try to do his voice a little bit hard, man. I can't do it. Look at this. Fifties <laughs> on the... Fifties on the... He's on the bandwagon, man. He's in man, fuck that shit, boy. I can't be messing with those niggas no more, man. I, 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 gotta, I gotta save money. Fuck that shit. I just remember I'm bankrupt. So. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Lord, I can't. Man, don't you own power, nigga? How the hell you bankrupt, bro? Bust a rock. <laughs> it's 50 trucks. 50 trolling like a motherfucker, bro. Oh man, it's the whatever for me. Yeah, man. Hey, they laughing about this shit, but hey, hey, what do we got to lose? You might as well stay with Trump, cause them taxes ain't gonna be pretty. Mm mm mm. See, 50 smart, man. Listen, man, people starting to wake up, man. You getting your news from over there now? 50, come on, come home. <laughs> ah, 50, 50 smart, man. <laughs> Look at this, man. Yo, let me tell you something. Out of all the celebrities, man, I'll follow 50. Because 50 be having some funny... See, this is this is the shit I love, man. I like looking at funny shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be seeing no booty shots. And I'm like, well, I don't expect 50 to be in no G-string and shit. I don't want to see that. But this man funny, man. This man funny, boy. I tell you. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be too. <laughs> he said 62%. <laughs> he 
<laughs> if you do the math, you know, <laughs> it's about 20%. You know what I'm saying? 20 cents. 20 cents, nigga. <laughs> Oh man, this this is just crazy, man. Look at this, man. These 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 people could. I don't want to be fit twenty cent. <laughs> they and he just became a whole meme. Watching the news and I ended up on the front page of the paper. <laughs> hey, get the app. Stars, man. He about to make a lot of money off of stars now, man. <laughs> Oh my God, this is affecting my love life now. <laughs> 50s is funny as hell, boy. Any celebrity who's against Biden is all over the news. <laughs> oh man, this is this is crazy, man. But again, that everyone's tax rate is going to be different. So all we have to work on right now are the concrete top marginal rates. Which I, I think the reason this yeah. got so much attention is that we've all heard about all these plans, but it doesn't mean anything until you blow it down to one number. Fifty heard about them taxes. He said, "Oh hell no." But it's just math. It's not politics. It's also the highest marginal rate that applies really to the last dollars earned or the or those above the uh, uh, the the uh, lower bracket. Right? It's just My math. Son told me about this tw about uh, fifty cents tweet. Uh, or, or Instagram post and I said well we should repost my wife and I said we should repost it and he said you might want to think twice about that because uh, there were th not just 50 cent words in there there were some more expensive yes. ones as well <laughs> yes <laughs> expensive for broadcast expensive for broadcast <laughs> Yeah, he did mention also that he goes, oh, I just remembered I'm bankrupt and this won't apply to me. Who wants to give me a loan? And then say he doesn't even know if the Knicks are terrible, too. So. <laughs> 50 is funny, man. You can't lie. He made everybody Thank laugh. Thank you so much, Robert Frank. Shout out to 50, man. He, he's freaking hilarious, man. See, we, we need people like that, man. Robert, speaking of tax rates, we want to ask you about this story that's gone viral. You reported on what combined... Uh, uh, federal and local tax rates could be under a Biden administration. 60% or more in some places like New York City. 50 Cent! 50 Cent tweeted out a screenshot of the graphic you used. He was voting for Trump because of it. And here he is on the cover of today's New York Post saying, I don't want to be 20 Cent. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it's interesting. I got an uh, email yesterday from somebody saying 50 Cent is a fan. I, I had no idea what they were talking about. Look, uh, our job is to tell people what this election means for their pocketbooks. And as we added up the top marginal rates in California and New York City, uh, they... Listen, man. Shout out to 50, man. <laughs> oh, man. 50, 50 is a funny dude. Anyways, guys, man. I want to know what you guys think, man. You know what I'm saying? Rate the video, leave your comments. Um, listen, man, at the end of the day, you know, what are you gonna do? You vote on who you feel is the right person. Obviously, it's a no brainer. Y'all make that decision for yourselves. I'm an independent voter, but I don't like a, a politician group telling me who I should vote for and when I should vote for and how I should, and especially with my phone, man. Don't y'all have this, man? I get more Democrats hit me up on my phone to vote for them than I do Republicans. Why is that? I'm just saying. Republicans don't really bother. They don't blow up my phone. And I know I'm going to have some hardcore Democrats and shit. Oh, don't do this. Uh, listen, man. I don't give a shit, man. Like I said, I, I don't trust none of them. I'm, I'm with Ice Cube with this one, man. But at the same time, if I'm going to vote... I had to vote. Yeah, fuck that, man. This, this, this man, what Harris, This nigga Biden want to raise up sixty-two percent taxes. This nigga Biden want to take away weed too. Come on, man. He said he want to ban weed. He want to take away guns too. Guns, nigga, and weed. What's next? Alcohol. Anyways, man, I'm out of here, guys. Rate the video, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Yeah, despite your politician views, man. Voice your opinions. I don't care. I'm out.